has an uncut straight back in. 9Z versus Ents. Ooh, Martinez clean with the Julies. Rattling off shots all over the place, and he's got back up on the bomb site as Buddha hits that one. Yeah, this is where you just have to turtle in and just play the, the man advantage. That's two players now that have been gooshed from the Glock. And the one thing now has to try and battle against five adversaries. Another dink. A lot of reason to want to root behind them. Glaive inside the cave with the old bait and switch. Might just walk back around into the face of DGT. Finds that one with the uppercut as well. So upgrades his Tech 9 to an M4. Stealthy moves from Glaive. For 9Z, three players remain. He'll bomb down on the site. Flank round the back. Ooh, they spot him though. That's going to be the read. You know that ramp's potentially compromised and have to set your focus on it. So the Mac 10's just got a posture for the exit. And that's what 9Z are doing overall. Looking for an escape. Wbij na G4 Skins i doładuj konto z kodem Mateo, który daje bonus do doładowania i możliwość otwarcia darmowego case'a. Na stronce możecie otwierać skrzynie, brać udział w bitwach na skrzynki oraz macie możliwość tworzenia kontraktów. Korzystając z dostępnych trybów na stronie wbijasz poziomy, które pozwalają otwierać skrzynie bonusowe. Co miesiąc są dostępne nowe eventy, w których możecie zdobywać niesamowite nagrody. G4 Skins oferuje wiele metod płatności, takich jak Blik, PSC, SMS, Krypto czy Skiny. Dodatkowo codziennie możecie odbierać darmowy bonus, a skiny ze strony wypłacane są natychmiastowo. Wbij na stronkę z kodem Mateo, link w opisie. Off of 9Z. Try and draw as much time away as possible, but next to you is going to get the first. And the AGT is also spotted. Two players, three HEs, Molotovs being tossed in. And Sunday Young will make sure he doesn't have to deal with any burning today. Yeah, Tio has the right idea. Max is starting to pull the attention away from Red Room behind the smoke. Dink has connected, but the Mac 10 is more than capable of dealing. Got completely slapped down to size. A reality check as they get body. But once they had the rifles in play, they have punished 9Z here a couple of times. Still very much healthy as well. He can stay in this position for a while. There's going to be an HG tossed in as DGT tries to help out. Sometimes these players can get in each other's way, but that's not the case this time around. A nice hold. The Heaven and Cave push, yielding two frags in quick succession. And they're able to scarp her out of there as well, while Potty tries to look in with the A1S. Walks back out with this shot from Martinez. And considering how low Glaive is, and they have no smokes left between the three of them, it's looking pretty shoddy for Ents after a few very solid rounds in a row. Losing Glaive and Potty, it's down to SDY. Once again, in what feels like an unwinnable clutch. Any kills here would be worth quite a bit of value. Max almost had that one time to perfection with a swing round onto Cave, but no free frag. Instead, the knock on effect is it's actually two picks for Ents, but there's two straight back. Hello, our soul peak. Out of the middle. Making money moves. Smoke's going to dissipate soon towards caves. So Max doesn't want to be trapped in transition. He backs off towards box. And will leave the space for now. Raw free versus free. But look at the HP bars. That's going to be the very big differential. With 36, 17, and 74 being all you've got to play with for 9Z. But they've got a max. Makes one final attempt at taking the round with him and sets it up for Martinez in the 1v2 on the back of the site. Now, Buddha's on rotate, but it's going to take him a sec before he gets there. Bates out with a warning shot. The seconds are with, and it's all gone wrong. Down to Buddha now. Better pray that he can pick this one up in the 1v2. Yeah, his composure went out the window there for Martinez. Rushing shots time after time, and now Buddha on 36 HP. Gonna slice and dice these two remaining players. Kaspersky first in. Oh, he was so close. Orbs out for either side. Martinez has the funds to support it again, and so does Polly. Plays anti flash on mid. DGT runs down. Ooh, it's a wide swing. And Polly wasn't ready for the micro adjustment. 
flick does not land. Ooh, Kaspersky trapped as well. Completely overwhelmed as 9Z are turning up the heat. They charge through cave, run down ramp, completely win out on all their individual duels. And Max might even get one as well. Close in the smoke with Glaive on rotate. He holds it. Galil will find success. Outnumbered though, four versus three on the side push. Martinez with a headshot for Licks on up. Actually trying to play aggressive behind this one as well as Nitu is next to fall. There is a HG tossed in from Glaive. Gonna try and get up close and personal with this A1S. Try and whittle as much time away. Maybe if you can get a couple more used bits of utility across from 9Z, that would be worth quite a bit as well, but it won't be happening. DGT nails in the final frag. Of... Stalemate deadlocked between these two teams. Back out of ramp though. They go running in with the Tech Nines and look to try and turn the pace against them. It's Buddha with the AK that slays back on Glaive, finding the adjustment with the rifle. Position scoped up. It ends. Timing's everything on this one. Just depends how this encounter goes round towards Donut. Could get very messy. Oh, oh, oh the Polish Lambo drills in the headshot, as does the Ukrainian. Now Max left standing. He's going to get the drop. That is the bomb as well that goes with YouTube. It's a bit of an awkward position in Donut, but SDY makes sure there will be no double up. One rifle and just the one MP9. They're going to try and take a bit of mid-control, though. Three plays up here in the smoke. But so far, nothing really forthcoming. SDY spots Max and will dispatch of him, but a HE will make sure that that player advantage is short-lived. versus four becomes a 4v3 with the advantage to ends as they find a backstab into the b-bomb site and cause the rotation meanwhile at middle poddy martinez takes a bit of an awkward peak but still wins it gut shot a bit of a gut punch potential timing to catch on the rotate here for glaive as well but smokes up martinez bails into cave Okay, still to work with Kaspersky. Throws him over the top. How so peak on CT side. Hits another one, so we're down to the 2v2. Nice nade, though. Ooh, that's going to finish him. All on Martinez, and he cannot make his move out through cave. Glaive with the first headshot. Straight onto Max. Ooh. Bit of a ding back. Potty low. 11 HP to his name. Glaive behind a box looking to make plays. But it's SDY up top. Meanwhile, a bit of a response back from 9Z. They're starting to piece this one together. No ammunition. He's got to pull out the blade. SDY jumps down with a Reaper Scythe in hand. But can't swing it close enough to behead them. 2v2. Second half pistol getting certainly a bit spicier. Our soul peak with a quick swing hits him like a cowboy. But it's the real wild West plays with the Julies as Kapersky finds one. Double up on the re peak was ready for the reface. That's pure reaction speed. And now 9Z going to be pushing through the Molotov. Martinez says, screw this noise, but it's into a flash and into the MP9 of Glaive. And he will look to blend and perforate the bodies of all the oncoming T's with that MP9. Even if he goes down to the Glock, which won't happen. Bomb, meanwhile, is cold on the ground. That's where the A push is coming from. Our Soul Peak has to double up here. Only good for one. Won't deny the push enough. Someone's got to pick up that bomb, and they're starting to put their attention on mid. And the A2's been a bit quiet for the last few rounds, but now Sparks back up again with a kill. Wave at range with that MP9. Look at it just hit and run. DGT falls prey, but and he will be looking to try and push their way onto the A side here. The A2, though, again with that FAMAS is putting it down. Really proving to be a difficult player to be thorn out of the site. He's going to get Molotov out of position, but this is wasting a lot of time. And he does a ton of damage to Martinez as well. It may be enough. Kaspersky can come round here and deny the kill, but Martinez is so fast on the draw with his AK. And Sundai Young is unable to close the gap. It seems as though maybe 9Z will claim this round yet. 
And I'm not even sure that SDY wants any part of this. No grenades and no kit means no chance. Fate here. In terms of his positioning, it's inside of Donut watching mid from the off angle. Everyone on the T side though, grouped up majority over towards the B ramp. Oh, this is huge. He's given two free one for ones with no fight back. Nine dead. Leaving themselves susceptible to the hit from lane. Love the aggression as well there, Jackie, because he was completely alone. You can see Glaive is in cave, but he was at no point helping his teammate out. That was all Kaspersky just deciding, right, screw it. I've got a good spawn. I've got a good timing and opportunity of a window here. I'm going to take it. And the A2, a lot of impact in the last round, and he is going to come through and get another one in this. Martinez probably saved that last round for them in the 2v2. Had no right to get the kill in Donut, but now it is too much to ask for. And with no money, just Glocks for 9z. Round 17 isn't really going to have much stock to it, so they just hope for the best. We should be getting some money from this one. Go in, see if you get a bomb plant, make out like bandits with any additional goodies. I hope you don't get captured. SDY's here, though, and he's looking for the run out. The old Classico. Run and jump. Throw the crosshair off if you can. Good for the one for one. But they've got back up on CT. Fast flicks with the M4. Ooh, that's clean. Might be against the Eco, but he still does it with style. Pressure point for 9Z. You lose this round, you are pretty much done and buried. You've got to get success here. Aspersky once again, super aggressive, up on Cave. Spray is good from Glaive as well. They go for the pincer. And it has worked out for them. Potty finally comes alive and delivers. And only two of 9Z remain in against four CTs. Buddha. Oh, the spray was nearly good for a double up. Could have been trouble on lane. He has to tuck in, wait for Max to make a move. Round towards mid-side, there's the peak, hits the first. Tightens up the loose ends, put us in a 2v2. And Max just sprints it in towards the A-site. Wraps around the back, wants to make noise as well, hoping that the audio cue will be heard to force the rotate. He blocks off CT. A body still holding, and Buddha, he's going to walk into it. Drops the bomb. And the chance that the round decreases rapidly. With 37 seconds, it now turns into Max forced to clutch it in the 1v2, and the angle favors Glaive. There's going to be no push behind it as of yet. Nate damage is good, though. Huazo Peak is going to decide to just go straight in onto the site, but a well-timed flashbang is going to neutralize him, and Kasperskis from the side is going in for more. A 3v2 in favor of Entz. Maybe they can get it done right here, right now. Yeah, this could very well be the end of this one. Potty with a flash over the back line. Ooh. Fires at the warning shot. That one's going to whiz straight by. Buddha and Martinez on the bomb site with the flank coming around in the back line. It's some die young. And slivering his way up. Ready to pounce like a python, but his teammates will do it before he even gets vision. Wall bang, double up. That's the way they take 13. And Entz pick up the BO1 versus 9Z here in Group B.